What's the best toddler complaint you've ever gotten? My toddler got mad that her poop came out in two pieces instead of one. She accused my husband of cutting it while she wasn't looking. She knows about the poop knife. The poop knife is probably the Reddit story I'll remember long after I cease to use Reddit. Overheard at a grocery store. Mom let her little boy pick out some ice cream. Kid chooses some sort of chocolate banana popsicle and mom says no. Kid starts crying. Mom says I thought you didn't like bananas. Kid immediately stops crying. Says oh yeah. And picks something else. Grade A trust. Makes a decision which has consequences he doesn't understand. Gets told no. Gets. Rationally. Upset because it was a decision he was given to make. Gets told why the no. Accepts it recognizing the wisdom he didn't yet have. Moves on. Good on him and good on the mom. She's doing it right and he's got a bright future as well as a bright mom. My daughter isn't quite there yet at two. Five years old. She still needs to experience things by herself most of the time. We made chocolate and crushed candy cane cookies together. She tasted the candy cane and didn't like it at all it was too intense a flavor. But then once the cookies are baked she obviously wants one. I remind her she didn't like it and offer a different kind of cookie. She throws a tantrum and I give her the mint cookie. She tastes it and throws a tantrum because she doesn't like it. I eat the cookie while she cries lol. Reminds me of a video I saw years ago of a girl being very upset because her mother wouldn't let her eat the apple that she had found in the kitchen. The apple was a raw onion. She absolutely insisted that it was an apple and that she wanted to it so eventually the mom just let her. She quickly discovered that it was. In fact. A raw onion but she was now too stubborn to admit defeat. Took a few big bites until the mother stopped her. When my cousin was little he told our grandpa that he wanted some of the berries off the bush in front of their house. It was a gooseberry bush. Gooseberries are terribly sour. Grandpa said you won't like them. They're too sour. Cousin argues with him for a few minutes until grandpa gives in and picks a handful of berries for cousin. Cousin stood there and ate every single berry. With his face puckered clear into the back of his skull the whole time. My daughter had a complete existential breakdown one day when she found out that she was going to have to pee every day of her life. Wait until she finds out about periods. Although to be fair. I'm 35 and still salty about periods. I was going to say this. My daughter was 8 when we had the period chat because she waltzed into the bathroom as I peed while on mine. She looked me in the eye and said you may as well just kill me now. When she learned it was once a month forever and likely to be painful if they are anything like mine. She also asked if she could just be stabbed in the abdomen once a month and call it a day instead. When she started at 12 she barged into my room. Looking very solemn and said it has begun. Red name has arrived. And walked out. She's brought much hilarity to my life over the last 16 YRS. Undefined. That's fantastic. When my little sister got her period she came to my mom and I and said guys I'm. Opposite of pregnant. I laughed for an hour solid and now I always call it the opposite of pregnant. That's absolutely brilliant. To this day. We call period week read her name week. It's a week where we walk on eggshells. Listen to a lot of irrational rants. Crying and often make sacrifices to red name via cracking her door and throwing in high-end chocolate and sour patch kids in the hope it will placate the demon inhabiting my child. When my daughter was three, I told her to stop trying to draw on the dog with crayons. She threw the crayon on the floor, looked me dead in the eye and yelled, Daddy, you're ruining my life. My one-year-old daughter is already super dramatic. Pretty sure this will be her in a year or two.
Currently she'll have a screaming meltdown when I put her in her playpen with lots of toys. A full bottle of water and a full bottle of milk. Plus at least one of her favorite stuffed animals and at least one pacifier. But if I leave her there and stay out of her sight she's usually fine within a few seconds. Oh and if she's really angry she'll throw herself on the ground to scream and all of the other dramatic tantrum things. My nephew had a breakdown and cried when his boot wouldn't fit on his head like a hat. Poor shoe design if you ask me. I wish I could wear shoes on my head. I'd definitely be a foot taller. 5 you. You're old. Me. I'm not that old with a slight tone of indignation. How old do you think I am? 5 you. The last number. Honestly. Ominous. They probably don't look a day over redacted. My daughter asked for strawberry ice cream from the grocery store when she was about four. I bought it for her and when we got home and she had some after dinner. She started crying. I asked why and she said. I wanted strawberry ice cream without bones. She didn't like the hard frozen pieces of strawberry in the ice cream that she picked out. I thought the idea of ice cream bones was funny. When I was about five my parents gave me ice cream with chocolate sauce and I broke down crying. Took them a while to figure I was upset at the psycho sick bastard who'd put gravy on my ice cream. Eventually they convinced me to try some and I enjoyed it. I once cried because my hot chocolate had whipped cream. Which I had never encountered before. It's the wrong same. Took weeks to figure out he was referring to the apricot and peach yogurts. Were you using instead of? I yawned with my mouth really wide and my little sister told my mum I was trying to eat her. Completely understandable misunderstanding when your jaw spontaneously unhinges. My daughter wanted to drink pure lemon juice and threw a fit when she was denied. I caved on the premise of natural consequences. One sip and she vomited. She never bugged us about it again. This is the way. My niece recently was upset about being served food in the little bowl. And not the big bowl. When her food was the move from the little bowl to a big bowl for her. She had a meltdown. After a fair amount of crying she was able to explain she didn't want the food from the little bowl placed into the big bowl. I suppose once in the little bowl the food was forever tainted. Cousin of mine had similar issues. Craft dinner had to be served in a bowl with a fork. If a spoon touched the KD. Even if it wasn't the part he was eating. It was poison. Any KD that touched a plate was also poison. He wouldn't he sit at a table where us barbarians ate KD in such a vile manner. My legs are sparkling. Undefined. I viscerally understand this. It is the tactile sensation of sparkles. Amazing. My wife woke the kids up and told them it was Monday so they needed to get ready for school. Don't like Monday. Hate Monday. You're Monday. Directed at wife undefined. The amount of insanely funny. Absurd things my kid has said to me when being woken up for school is incredible. And I always sympathize because neither of us is a morning person. Over the years from kindergarten to 11th grade I've heard. I can't go to school today. I have butt rabies. I have squirrel flu which has become a running joke and what our family calls allergy problems. My retinas are broken. The Sandman overdosed me last night. The only cure is extra sleep. I actually let that one go. Mom. Can I just... Like... Not do today? I'm really not feeling it. The sacrificial waterfall of Satan kept me up puking last night. Definitely allowed that one. 
she and I also have an agreement that if she goes a full grading period without missing, she gets a free day to miss. She is also allowed mental health days for her anxiety. But only because she doesn't take advantage. Your kid sounds like an absolute riot. I didn't even need to see your username to recognize the antics and come to the same conclusion it must be the same kid in your other comment. You should catalog and write a book. My oldest boy has a similar sense of humor. But maybe not quite that refined. I love it. My daughter about five threw a wadded up piece of paper at us and ran away. We opened it up and she had written. Can I have a snake? Wife yelled no. You may not and my daughter then came back almost in tears to ask why not. She said. I ate all of my dinner so why can't I have one? Wife asked what that had to do with snakes at which point we realized she had misspelled snack. Also. My son put us in a sort of reverse timeout once when he got angry. This consisted of him going into his room and refusing to come out. Leaving us in peace and quiet. He essentially played himself. I mean. Honestly sounds like your son found a way of working through his feelings effectively. He did. He's now in his early 20s and is a wonderful. Stable successful individual my four-year-old brother told me my water is too soupy i still haven't quite figured it out might i recommend jello water you can buy thickened water it's for people that have issues swallowing and it is just as gross as it seems like it would be it looks like drinking lube and now you know Now that I've been working at home I have a desk set up in my bedroom whenever I give my three-year-old grief he tells me to go back to work. When my kids get in trouble and are tired of dealing with the consequences they tell me the same thing. I've shared this one before but it's golden. Toddler and I are in the truck for a three-hour, mostly freeway trip. Toddler asks if she can have her window down begs says pretty please whines that she needs the window down answer is no we're going 70 miles per hour for the next few hours thus begins the wailing she cries and cries and cries the window's not going down i'm tuning her out no problem the music is on i'm just driving and life is good after probably 45 minutes of this, she slows down, gulps a few times, and in a tremulous voice asks, Mommy, why am I crying? I laughed so hard I nearly ran off the road. If you don't remember, I'm not telling you, kid. There's often a distinctive note shift you can listen for that signals the shift from I'm crying because I am mad about X to I'm crying because of emotional inertia. It's hilarious when they subside and stop crying then suddenly remember that they're angry about something and start back up again deliberately. It's also useful because if you're careful, you can introduce a distraction at the right time and they'll stop crying and completely forget to start back up. My little sister laying on her back staring straight into the lamps my eyes hurt then stop staring at the lamp no is your sister a moth lol my little brother when he was four yo liked ice cream so much so that whenever he got one he'd be so delighted to eat it but when he'd be about to finish it he'd begin sobbing that he didn't want to finish it as he'd have none left then i can understand that I am sad when I finish my ice cream. The three-year-old found a mitten on the ground and put it on. He asked where the other one was and I said I didn't know. He looked down and said. Like it was a unique problem. But I have two hands. Asked if she could have one piece of candy. And I said yes. She then asked, 
can we compromise? And I replied that we didn't need to compromise because she was already getting exactly what she wanted. Child proceeds to throw a tantrum until I agree that we can compromise. She eats her candy and leaves happily. She was all ready for a fight and didn't get one. I watched a friend's kid have a total breakdown because he wanted to have eaten ice cream. The thing was. He had ice cream. It was his dessert. And it was in a bowl in front of him. He could eat it. But the fact that he had to go through the mechanical motions of eating. To get the later point in time where he had had ice cream was really just too much for him to bear. Watching tiny humans grapple with cause and effect is fascinating. Can relate. Some days after coming home from work exhausted high school teacher I feel the exact same way. You mean I have to drink to get drunk? It never fpin ends around here. We have a growth room in our lab with intense purple lightning where upon leaving everything looks green for 15 to 30 seconds. Once we were giving a tour to a class of 4th graders and showed them this phenomenon. Once it wore off one kid exclaimed everything's back to normal. I hate normal. We have that quote saved on the fridge. What a great quote for when the pandemic ends. When my little sister was a toddler she screamed she couldn't go to sleep because her pajamas were too spicy. She probably meant they were either too hot or too itchy. My son uses spicy for raw like under his nose after a day playing in the cold and burning either chemically or due to temperature. It makes perfect sense to me, the sensation is very similar to eating something that's too spicy. I don't know if this is too gross. But when my son was three, he had a tummy bug and came to me crying that his butt threw up. I'd say the bar for too gross when talking about toddlers is pretty high. My six-year-old yelled I'm too tired to go to sleep. In a fit of delirium and rage. TBH. That's pretty insightful. <laughs>